A running header or running head is an important editorial design element for catalogs, magazines, books and most long format documents. In this video I will show you how to set up a universal running header for a magazine in Adobe InDesign by using a text variable with a character style. So here we are in InDesign and the first thing I'm going to show you is how to set up a character style because this is what we will need to be able to use different formatting on every spread but still be able to use the same running header definition. So character styles panel you will find in the window menu under styles so that's where it is. Once it's open, all you have to do is to deselect everything on your current spread and then click on the little plus sign. This is going to create just a completely empty character style. You can double click on this and rename it. I'm just going to call it running header just so I can reference it later on as well. So very important that it shouldn't be based on anything and it should have none in the style settings. So it's a completely blank empty character style. And before we accept the changes, I will also assign a shortcut to it just to make it easier to apply it. I'm going to use option one as the shortcut. I will click OK. And it's cool that the shortcut is also showing here in the panel. So it's just a quicker and easier way to apply it. Now I'm here on the first spread and I would like the running header to show up here on the top left. And this is the text I would like for the running header to show. On the next spread, I would like creative adventures to show once again there on the top. Now if I zoom out a bit, you can see that these two texts, they are completely different in formatting. So I can't use the same paragraph style for them. Instead, what we are doing is to use this character style that we just defined. So I'm going to select this text frame and click on the running header character style. And since this was set up with anything inside it, so it's a blank style, it's not going to make any changes to the text itself. However, if I go into the type tool and select it and I check it here under the character style, now it actually shows that this style has been applied. So why is that important? Because we are going to now place in a running header in our master page. But first I wanted to show you that a running header needs to be specified as a text variable, which you can find under the type menu. And you already have a running header definition created by default in InDesign. This you can change by going into the define option. And under there, when you select running header, you can click on edit. This way you can decide whether it's going to work with a paragraph style or a character style. Now, since we already set up our character style, we can also select that from this drop down. So the style should be that blank running header and use the first instance of that style within this text variable that we are just setting up. We can also choose to change the case and set everything to uppercase or title case. But for now, I'm just going to keep it like this and click OK. So now we can click done and that text variable is ready. We can now go to our master page. So a master in this case, which is probably the best place to work with text variables and running headers in general. So I already have a text frame created here. And all I have to do now is once I clicked inside it to go into the type menu and choose insert variable from the text variables option and choose running header. It's going to show up like this. So it just simply says running header in those brackets. But that means it is a variable which is going to actually change on the pages. So if I go to page number two and three, we can see already it picked up that highlighted text where we use the character style and it is just replicating that. So for instance, if I have to change the title and let's say we just type in into the wild, once I click away, it's going to refresh automatically. However, I found that if it doesn't update straight away, if you click away onto another page and you come back, then you will see the changes happening within the running header. So it just takes some time to refresh, but it is going to refresh eventually. And the most important thing, it is connected and you don't have to worry about it anymore. Now to be able to use this on the rest of the magazine, all we have to do is to define the titles 
or the text that we would like to see in the running header. So you can see currently it still says into the wild because there's no instances of that character style on this page. So what I can do is to select this text frame. You can highlight the text if you want or just select the whole text frame and then click on running header. And once you do that, once again, we just need to refresh the page. So I double click away, come back and you can see now it says creative adventures. So even though these are two completely different formatting that we are using for the source of the running header, thanks to that blank character style, it's going to work perfectly. So let's just do another test. I will come to this page where I would like this designer spotlight text to be used for our text variable. Once again, I just apply the character style and maybe come to another page here where I would like this big city life to be used. Once again, simply applying the running header. By the way, there's also another quick way of applying styles. If you press Command or Control Enter, that's the quick apply option where you would normally get the most recently used styles coming up straight away, or you can just type them in and then that's a fast way to get to it as well. Once you see the option that you need, just press Enter again and then it's going to be applying it. So now if we come up here, Notice that it's already updated on this spread and we can go back to this other spread. Once again, designer spotlight is showing up there. And that's all you really need to know about setting up a running header for InDesign. Thanks a lot for watching. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we release new videos. Click on the link on my right and start your membership today to get access to over 200 hours of training courses and personal mentoring by me and my team of creative professionals. Have fun learning guys and I will see you in the next one.